Yo, folks, and welcome to something that literally took us the alignment of celestial bodies to have happen. Another Grimoth and Lethal recording after how many years? Can't even Stop. remember. <laughs> I mean, we've, what? of course, done, like, in Shroud and stuff, but that doesn't count. There's been other people. It, it would be 2019 when I was at your house last time. Goddamn. Well, it's happening again now. In fact, this series was supposed to happen earlier, but, you know, that's how it goes. He's lethal feline. I'm Grimoth. And this is... Capitalism. <laughs> also known as Potionomics. I played this game during one of the next fests, and I bought it in 2022. We are currently in 2024. And since we don't want to wait till 2025, let's get the show on the road. Get on with it, as some people would say. Eating combustifer potions will engage in wondrous things. Now, I'm not sure who's talking here, so we'll just go with our regular voice. My dearest Sylvia, greetings from Rafta. It's here on this charming island that I build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream, apparently of having a potion shop in Rafta. I hope that you will one day be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. So it's probably going to be hard to actually make a capitalist success in a place where I'm the only person. But I'm going to try nonetheless. It's a potion shop. It's a potion shop. Potion? <laughs> I mean, people need potions, especially in these untamed wilds. Her unsanctioned experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother, and tell your father that he owes me money. Your Uncle Oswald. I wish I would have known as Oswald from the beginning. Here he is, I'm guessing, in the background. My dearest niece, or niece, as it's typically pronounced, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in the transit, unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart. To think that you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After the mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality, as you can see in the photograph here. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could possibly go wrong? Sincerely, Unky Oswald. Uh, Sylvia, if you're reading, <laughs> reading this, it means I'm fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> That one's got a lot of stamps on A lot of markers. I need to have, like, a kill switch, Grimma, so when I die, you get a postcard like this. <laughs> Execute plan Omega Alpha, Grimma. And I'm like, what? <laughs> he said to do that. If anyone knows what it means, please write in the comments. They took my E. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir, because... I haven't been fucking putting up this, uh, you know, this shop. I implore you, Sylvia. Don't let this be the end of my shop, my dream. I'm going to go ahead and force this all on you. Fuck your own dreams. I I've already written you down as the person who will assume all of my debt. <laughs> Come to Rafta, accept your inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Your dead uncle believes in you. Also, I have all the stamps over my face. Meanwhile, I gave up my dream because you said my last potion tasted like old cabbage. <laughs> Dearly departed, Unky Oswald. <laughs> These letters just keep going. This must be someone else. Yes. Would you? Sylvia, please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person, or else will be deemed forfeit. I like the, uh, like, foil we have around the outside of this. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Yeah, some lustrous, like, deco decor for this serious business letter. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment... It's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Red flag! Red flag! Red flag! Do not go! Do not go! It's a trap! I know. It sounds like we should just forfeit this. I mean, do we really care that much about Unky Oswald? Do not write back. Do not, do not go. Apparently, we've already gone. Well. 
A lot of spiders under that one board. Okay, this place is uh, not what I hoped for. But this could still work. I can make this work. <laughs> the animations on this character are super hilarious. And she definitely fits this voice well from what I... At least what I experienced in Next Fest all those years ago. However many years that was. I just need to air it out a bit. And chase off that bird that I saw in the rafters. Good thing I got a brew. Oh, I like this aesthetic. Forgive me for the intrusion. She definitely has the uh, the Grimoth color scheme. I am Tyr, and you're back in Resetir, a playthrough that we did several years back on my channel. Well, you've gotten larger in Tarot Bang! I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. The... I'm Helene. Helen. Alini. <laughs> and you're Sylvia, right? I like the look here. It's like I'm looking for a name tag is all... Where... Yeah, that's what you're looking at. Uh-huh, the name tag. <laughs> Where's the name tag that has a pronunciation? Where's the crazy buttons? We have some. But first, I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Uh, thanks? I didn't really know him that well. Your hands are so immense, or is it just the gloves? All the same. It's a pity. Particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. As his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls to you. But really? I mean, is that really how it works? I don't know how it... How... I didn't know that's how this worked before I got on the boat. Do you see the size of my hat? That means that I must be speaking true. I mean, you do have a very fancy hat with lots of emblems on it. I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I got this here shop. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of... God, I love this briefcase. <laughs> or is it a suitcase? Is it a mimic? Hmm, we'll call him... Ted, would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? Uh, uh, what? Do I look like I have money? I take it you'd prefer to set up a um, payment plan, one of the pores, I understand. Yeah, but, um, that's so much gold. I, I, you could build like five shops with that much gold. What in the world did Oswald do with all that money? <laughs> mismanaged it to judge by appearances. <laughs> I have his contract right here. I'm not holding it because I'm not one of the poor peasants. If you'd like to look it over. Is it also because you're magic? That's probably why it really is. It's not because you paid for it to hover. <laughs> that fine print is very fine. I need my reading glasses. Ow! There you go. What the hell did you just do? I've invoked a soul binding. <clears throat> soul binding. Which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Without your consent. Except for the very far fine print that said you do consent just by having showed up. Make your payments on time. And this shop is yours. I was going to mention the consent, but I guess you've already done it. <laughs> default of the loan, however, and you forfeit the property, and will be legally obligated to work for us until such a time as we deem your debt repaid. Man, that sounds, um, that sounds bad. Like, this sounds like real yeah. bullshit. I think I need to, I need to contact my lock, my law cancel, because this sounds like a whole bunch. I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here. I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion. <laughs> and so I can be your first. Just the imagery of that just hovering there. This old potion. It, it could be your old potion that you made. It tastes like old cabin. So, like... 
I could be your first patron. Do you, want a, do you want a founder's badge or what? <laughs> All right, and then we get into the, the deck building part of this game. Attempt so to raise her. overwhelmed as fuck right now. <laughs> like, how the fuck do I sell this shitty potion to her? Yeah, it's pretty much it. It's like, all these are bad. We will flail wildly. That's pretty good, probably. Uh, I, I think you'll like it. Wait, no. We lose time because they have limited patience. I'm sure this will all be explained in a moment. This potion, wait. It, well, it, it's a potion. You knew that, though. See, I'm a stoic attorney, but I do like to employ a little bit of extra emphasis every now and then. That's fine, though. I have time. We also have stress. <laughs> Take all of it. Hmm? Ah, the stress is getting to me! I just spoke dots, Sylvie. Dots. Alright, so we can panic. Unplayable cards, good, good, good. Those are our favorite. Despair. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll just end my turn. Lethal has told me that I don't like card games, so it's for the best that he's playing this. <laughs> Well, I guess she just head dashed there. I have two stress of function! Well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have a full ten days before your first payment is due. And, and how much is that first payment? Are you going to tell me? I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck! Okay, bye! Of course. Of course this would happen. I never should have come here. What am I going to do? It's must be the owl. I, 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 I'm reading this because we can't have Lethal talking to himself here. I have no idea where to go from now, so... Oh! Huh? Oh, no, Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Ow. My hip. Ow. Oh. 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 I mean... I heard that you, you could talk. Well, well, of course I can talk. I mean, it does say you're a talk now or on subtitle. Don't ask how I can see that. It's some kind of magic. What? What? You must be new here. This is Rafter, where the strange is commonplace, and, and the birds are chatty. Oh. And what are the property laws here in Rafter? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. This all kind of looks badass. I live here, actually, if you can call it living, eating scraps, hiding in the shadows. You live here in the shop? I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, uh, <laughs> Did he never mention me? How strange! Perhaps he was uh, just so embarrassed to admit uh, how integral I was to his shop. Y yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is... Al. Al? Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was the first idea, best idea kind of guy. All right, sidebar lethal. If this owl were the entire brains of this operation, you should never fucking trust anything the owl says business-wise, right? Because look at this fucking shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Sylvia, uh, not the sharpest knife in the bread box. Yeah, I gotta be in character. <laughs> anyway, owl, it's nice meeting you all, but... I'm getting on the first boat out of here because I'm just gonna go to Mexico. You know, they, I'm sure this binding thing's probably gonna have some, you know, I'll have to take some pills or something for it, but I'm just gonna get out of here. No, no, no. You don't want to do that. I saw what happened. That lawyer's soul binding means she'll be able to track you beyond the Isle of Rafter to the ends of the globe. Miss a single payment? And you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle owned by Joja Corp until you've worked off your debt. Well, gonna have to solve this a different way. Puts a, a shotgun on top of the table. <laughs> There's no way I can make enough just selling potions. Maybe not through the traditional route. Oh, route. 
We pronounce it both ways here, Nafta. But you've arrived at a thought to it this time. You're not going to propose to do some kind of MLM scheme, are you? Uh, <clears throat> there are five competitions taking place over the next 50 days. Have you heard of Princess Maker 2? It's like that. A series of contests in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. Man, you just fell on my ceiling. You conveniently have all this stuff on your person. That's very impressive. I fell out of your ceiling and into your lap like this information. How about I, that? Not on my lap, it was on the table. But anyway. <laughs> you consider this a table? We've got much work to do. You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. You'll simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. These T2s. Those are what you'll be judged on. Win the first competition, and you'll automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prizes will be even better. And just look at that juicy grand prize. Win all five competitions, and you'll have the money you need to get that debt collector off your back for good. And plus, question mark? Do you really think I have a shot at this? I mean, the last potion I made tastes like old cabbage. Uh, probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. You're trapped in total desperation. And I'm willing to help. A brain's on the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. Well, all right then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and Meow, we're going to win those competitions. Let's brew some potions and make some goddamn money. Let's do some looks at camera potionomics. Look at that fucking face. <laughs> Meanwhile, the owl is just completely fucking no selling the entire thing. <laughs> oh boy. Is, is that some kind of owl joke? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Down there in the bottom left corner. That's adorable. <laughs> A potion a day keeps the healer away. A new study has highlighted the benefits of a daily potion in use of shoring up the body's natural health defenses. All right. Cool. I see you cleaned the place up a bit. Nicely done. Now the real work can begin. We need to craft some potions. Let's over, head over to the cauldron and get brewing. I'm not advancing this, by the way. It's going at its own pace. It's all right. I can read quick. I, I, I know. I just wanted it to be clear. That's true. The, the viewers may not be able to. Yo, your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around the cauldron. You went to school. I suppose, man. You went to school for this after all. Uh, I learned pretty much how... I learned how to make... Pretty much any potion I can think of, there's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. I hope that's not oh, no a problem. about that on the island of Rafter. It's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Okay. What do you mean? What? Don't blame me. The regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle base stuff before they let me brew advanced potions, you know, just so I don't get ahead of the game. It's balancing. See, I got the first step as seen here when I graduate. To get the next one, I need to put in a lot of hours at the cauldron. Well, you'll certainly get your hours. Look at that fucking stamp. Starting now, in fact. Congratulations. Right. My first professional brew. I'd, uh, I better go over my notes from college just to be safe. Potion crafting. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. None of my notes really came in uh, animated form, I must confess. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I know, it's pretty badass, right? A potion requires a minimum of two magical infused ingredients to be combined and heated in the cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magiments. Magimines, as they're also called. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, the mighty Vita Vita Vegemin Magimin. Where would we be without it? Wherever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find 
Nagaminis. Magimans. Magimans. Magical creatures. Mystical plants. Even the rocks of the supernatural island contain this critical alchemical compound. I'm glad they, you know, are just like Dr. Mario pills. That keeps it simple for me. Heating an ingredient releases the... <laughs> the midichlorians contained within it, thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion-specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of MacGuffins. The ingredient is only the vessel. The measurements they contain will determine what kind of potion is created. Ratios are important, too. I'm glad I'm speaking for all of your notes. If your balance of measurements is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. It sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it, which I thought you already had, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, one step at a time. Got to put the ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion, duh. Can't go wrong with health potions. And I have the recipe memorized. Look how small guy. Health potions require a combination of red and green magamines. Some fey bears and mandrake root should do the trick. Alright, we have those. Some fey berry. Some mandrake root. There we go. That's everything we need. Let's put a lid on this sucker and set it a boot. Alright. Alright, nothing left to do here but let it cook. Alright, I suppose we will return then. Make sure you check the TN Star Radio, the recommended competition potions. Your potions should be ready in uh, the afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Okay. Arrange potions. These old health potions won't set the world on fire, which is for the best, because they're actually health potions. That would be really awkward. But if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on a shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. Okay. Boop and boop and boop. Good. Now when customers come in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. You can't just move a store shelf up by the by the window of the shop. That would just be weird. We have rules and regulations for that. Yeah, I'm sure my nails are for the shelf and have to be up to coat. We're finally ready to open the store. Let's sell some potions. Okay. Let's make up your heroes and give them a sauce for a victory. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this goes better than yesterday, where I got enslaved effectively. It will. It has to. Just keep the basics in mind, and you'll be fine. Haggling! The art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each ocean. You'll want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they'll pay. It's like the bank. That's how you owe so much money. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply. Thin it, wink. And if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster. Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. I like I like this idea of, like, system of, like, them negotiating back and haggling back at you and like your your character being like <laughs> like I don't need this right now like here comes one now you've got this no, why, why are you hiding all of a sudden I've, I've, I'm the brains of the operation not the face <laughs> no one believes me but I swear I saw a dragon yesterday well that's nice uh, welcome to the shop <laughs> this looks pretty great at the price is right all right, so now we can sum up. I'm just doing the pose that the, the Peppy Commodore is doing right now. <laughs> I, I like Sylvia's pose. She's like trying to fucking mind trick her. It's fucking like Professor Xavier. <laughs> Telekinetically move. This one here is a winner. 
I see what you're getting at. Now I have their attention. Time to reel them in. Use the thing that says reel them in. Look at them bunny eyes. <laughs> Fish. This is one of my finest potions. Wow. Nice. Well, that's all I have for now. Got to brace myself. So you, because you'll hurt me, literally hurt me. A fucking shield. <laughs> come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah, come at your come at me face. <laughs> when I came in, I thought the potions would be super cheap. That got under my skin. Good thing I had my card up. Otherwise, I'd be really stripped. But as you can see, I'm not. Best fishing now. Let's close it out. Thought of closing the deal. Take it or leave it. I'm sort of feeling it, yeah. I can't wait to try. Bye, bitch. Well, the thing's come again. Huh. Just in one fell swoop of the hand, grabs the potion, leaves the money. <laughs> She's a professional shopper, Grandma. Yeah, it's got to be what it is. Come on up. It's going to be a great day, don't you think? I can feel the magic coming off of this one. Yeah, that's how it should do. All right, I'll set you up. This one's a winner. I'm warming up to it. I'm also still warming up to your closing sales, but you're the best part. Okay. We'll come back soon then. Come on up. Oh, I can't believe people get up this early. Sir, it is 11.30 in the morning. I have my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. Everything is black. All like right. my soul. I could just close I'm out. Up today. So, let's see. Impatience. Someone screaming about dragons. I don't have much to actually increase interest, so I might as well just sell this sucker. And the Gloomy Craftsman has two block by the looks of things. Yeah, so we'll just we'll just do this. Wait a second, just give me money, all right? Oh, uh, it's not the worst I've seen. All right. Thanks, come again. Oh, that's all of them for now. They didn't go so badly, actually. Yes, it's clear your haggling skills are already improving, but if I could offer a small suggestion. In a negotiation, sometimes the best move is to make the move you haven't thought about yet. What the hell does that even mean? How am I supposed to think about it if I can't think about it? <laughs> Ever heard of lateral thinking? When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. This is such a good face from the end. I was just admiring how his beak is just transmogrifying as he speaks like lips. You've learned how to scheme. Huh. I can be a little diabolical when I have to be. I'll look forward to seeing it in action, but that's enough of a break for now. That was a break? Come on now. Back to work. Man, but I like sword all three potions. Potions brew an extra two time slots overnight. Health potions should be done brewing, Sylvie. Let's take a look. All right. Upgrading your shop and equipment is key to making money and selling more potions. I hope potions look ready. Let's bottle them up. Soup them up. My God, it's got four out of uh, five twinklies. And a, a number of, like, markers, like, like between the stars and superb brew. It looks all like all senses. So taste. Uh, I'm not sure what that one's supposed to be. Smell, sight, yeah. hearing. So that must be touch. Hmm. I'll accept these. They just nuzzle the potion, of course. That's the first batch done. Why not make some more for the night shift? Well, I used up all the ingredients before, so unless I'm going to make it with hopes and dreams, we're not going to make any potions. You're definitely going to be needing those in order to pay off this debt. <laughs> Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what will be in demand. Today it was health potions. Tomorrow it could be not health potions. Mana potions, spell point potions, blue juice potions require green and yellow magimmons. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. Sack of slime and some more mandrake fruit. All right. 
<laughs> that slime is not happy to be here. <laughs> Perfect. Let's make those mana potions. Okay. Boop, and a boop, and a boop. I, I and... blink and squint at you expectantly. Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat to speed up the process. Why don't we just do that all the time? Mule! When added to your cauldron's fire, it will reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. Just ask James Hetfield. Mm -hmm. You can feed up to feed. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's too fucking adorable. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. Be on the lookout for different types of fuel from different areas of the island. Not all fuel is created equal. Some fuels are more equal than others. There's a little bit of hay left. Go ahead and feed it to the fire. <laughs> wow, a singular hay. There it is. Seen here. Hay. I'm not gonna... There you go. It has its own slots. This was not in the demo. And, and yes, that did change the brew time from three to two. Great. Now we can open up the shop for the afternoon to sell the health potions you brewed this morning. All right. Our time wheel up there at the top left corner. Take a moment to think about your haggling strategy. Adding new haggling tips to your arsenal is the key to convincing customers to pay you more money. All right. We'll get to some deck building next time, but there's you. I ah, know. Just breaking your legs here on the what first. A <laughs> Yeah, what will, what will be adding stuff to our deck be like? Find out next time. We'll see you then. See you then.